Howdy! My name is Oatmeal Ant, and this is Let's Play EU4 Japan. <clears throat> when we last left off, we were just about to finish our war with Swahili. We have enough war score to get all of their gold. They don't have nearly as much gold as they did. We've gone through all, nearly all of it. The reason they don't have very much gold anymore is that this little province, or this little country, took three of their gold-producing provinces away from them. And while we could fabricate a claim on them, they don't actually have a lot of gold right now. I don't know why exactly, but there is really nobody in the world for us to extort gold from. That means that we have to stop running such a tremendous deficit as we had been running. It should be possible. Um, possible. It's possible. It means we're going to have to slow down colonialization. As well as... Probably reduce our military to some extent. Yeah, you can see they have three gold mines here, as well as two ivory producing provinces. Cape is a big cash cow. Best colony in the world, I think. Overseas colony in the world, I think. With a base tax of seven, making gold. That's just amazing. Oh, and it's an important center of trade. I would have liked it, but it doesn't... It's not really worth it to get a border with Portugal because Portugal's one of our very few friends and our only ally. That being said, it's it's time for us to be storing up our diplomatic power because we're going to be going to war with these guys soon over here. Uh, Portugal has a claim on the province? Really? Portugal has a claim on every coastal province of every Every coastal province in China, Portugal has, has a claim on. That's odd. Very odd. They have claims on my provinces as well? No. No. But they do have claims on... Any provinces that were, were once Ming cores and are coastal. Hmm. Well, it turns out that Russia beat us over here, and you can see that there are profitable provinces over here with iron producing. How very profitable these provinces would have been had I taken it a little bit more seriously and gotten over here faster. I just, I didn't think, because in my, my Russia Let's Play, we're not going here really that quickly at all. But it must have stemmed from the fact that Russia decided to attack the Ortath Horde and take a lot of their provinces, and that's how they've gotten over here so fast. Okay, well, that was their decision. What we have to do now is uh, take these provinces as fast as we can, because they are Asian. Notice they do pass taxes. This province is already making more than most of the U.S. Uh, colonies. And the reason I'm not buying this tech is that, despite it being very cheap, I want to save up as much as possible of diplomatic power, because as soon as these boats are healed, I'm going to send them back over to... As soon as they are healed, I'm going to send them back over here and declare war on... Either the Jean Pierre on Jean Pierre, Pierre, in order to take these main cores from them. They really only have three main cores. Probably not worth it. So instead, I'm gonna go ahead and declare on the Shun, take as many of their cores as possible.
Now you don't actually have to occupy the provinces in order to give them to your vassal or to anyone in order to return cores. Return cores is what it's called. So that's going to make the causes belli that I have okay. I don't know if I really want to spend the time fabricating a claim to get a different causes belli. I probably don't. I'm probably just going to take all the China producing provinces and tea. Yeah, tea in China producing provinces I'm probably going to take. Or oh, definitely uh, the Se Sejuan province down here that makes. Definitely the Sejuan province that makes spice. Just scouting out which provinces I'll take. Maybe Beijing? It's not their capital. Yep. Because each, the, the cost of the province, right now at least, isn't so much the, um... The war score price, I'll probably pretty easily get to max war score. Oh. What province am I getting a claim on? Russia, eh? I actually wouldn't mind going to war with Russia right now. They've got a lot of provinces I'd be interested in. Where's this province that I have a claim on? Should be able to click on this. Be transported there. I have a claim on this province that I can't currently see. That's interesting. So, let's go check on our boats. At the end of this month, they should be pretty healed up. Looks like they're pretty good to go. I'm gonna count that as okay. Send them back over here. This should be definitely be enough troops to, to, to win this war. Only problem I could run into... The only problem I could see running into is because I'm using the CB show superiority, I really don't want to use that CB. How long would it take me to fabricate a claim on, say... this province. It would take about two full years. Two and a half years. Don't really want to wait that long. The show superiority isn't going to be doing so hot because I'm guaranteed to lose battles that the Ming gets into because they're going to do stupid things with their troops. So even though I finished a colony, I'm not going to pick up another one right now. I want to. I want to bring my. I want to bring my massive spending habit under control. I can always go to war with Russia for these colonies. Sure, they'll be Russian and Orthodox, but they're not going to have very high base taxes. So. I might, it might even be best to just wait and do that and take a bunch of Asian provinces from... Oh, what a terrible event. Is the stability worth that much gold? Mm, yes. I think 
think it is. Go ahead and send these ships back. As for these troops, well, I'm seeing plenty of land up here still. So plenty for me to colonize still up here. Should have gotten on it before, probably, but this must be a wasteland, so I can't walk there. This province right here. Are my troops back yet? They're close. I'll probably start the annexation process on Ming relatively soon, maybe after this war, which I'm about to declare. See, this gives me the, um, this gives me 75% for return cores. Oh, that's neat. I didn't realize that. When I was paying for these provinces before... Awesome, so I am going to get a reduction in the diplomatic cost that it's going to take me. 25% reduction, so instead of 50, it's going to cost... 50 divided by 4 is what, like 12? So it'll cost like 38. Okay. Portugal is willing to go to this war as well. If you go and check Portugal's relations with us, they actually went up due to fought to the end. I think I'm gonna bring them in on this war. Yep, yep, yep. Now what we learned last time is that don't split the troops up. You see iron, told you, precious metals. Definitely something that happens in these provinces up here. Well, I mean, I guess maybe iron isn't a precious metal, but metal. Biggest nickel mine in the world is up here somewhere. Wow, these colonies go super fast. 78% chance. Oh, fur is also profitable, so I'm not going to begrudge fur. Although, sort of less profitable than it did, was before all this fur was being produced in the New World. Quite a bit less, really. I wonder where Asia ends. Probably this province. Well, I'm going to go and pick up this province right here with my next colonist so that when I core it, I'll have access to these two. Yeah, it might be time for a war with Russia. I don't know. We'll see. So I know I said I shouldn't split them up, but it's okay to split them in this situation because this small stack will siege and I'll always be able to defend it with this big stack. So at the end of this month I'm going to bring these ships out of port. Oh my. I'm going to go ahead and gain three inflation. That's a lot of money that they would like me to lose. I'm not interested in losing. Yeah, wow, look at how fast that colony became a successful colony. I might even beat them to this province, and maybe even this province. Once this one cores, I get a chance at this province. Well, what did I say the next priority was? This one, so that I have access to those two. 
and it has fairly low aggressiveness as well. That's always good. What missions do we have? Take this province. Well, where is this province? Well, I don't really feel like going to war with Spain. Yeah, see, this small Ming stack is a massive liability. And the Ming, Ming boats also liabilities. Because any battles lost is going to mess with the war goal thing. Oh well. Now this place is actually almost done. As soon as it's done, I'm gonna go pick up its troops. Using these ships. It'll be done before the, this place. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up its troops with these ships. And then take its troops Probably up to the colonies that I'm making in, um... I want to call this place Kamchaka, but I'm not positive what it's actually called. Whatever this place is up here. Now I want to keep an eye on this disputed succession. In case Korea or the Shun ever get into it, I might actually try to pick it up. From out from underneath them, the personal union that is. Awesome! So remember that I was asking that I I wanted my my current heir to die. Well, if I want my current heir to die, I can actually choose an event that that makes it more likely that he's gonna die. Oh. <laughs> Well, it was 75% chance he'll die, and 25% chance that I'll gain a bu bunch of legitimacy, and he didn't die. He lives on. Maybe, so I, now I, I just have to lose him in, in combat is really the only way. What's going on over here? I see, last time these guys didn't join in the war. And this time they did. And that they're, they're invading Japan. Boy, I've gotta say, that's a surprise. And then somehow some of my boats are getting caught there. Hmm. Am I actually losing this ticking war score now? Yeah. But I, I should get I should get back to no one having the ticking war score soon. Yeah, this is what I was afraid of, that the Ming were just gonna lose a bunch of battles. It'll basically end up with no one gets a tick in war score. So we managed to capture a couple ships. That's always good. Where are they retreating to? Looks like over here. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make an assumption that that's their hunter stack and that they only have one hunter stack. I can kind of safely make that assumption because of the way the AI has worked for every moment that I've seen the AI. They've only ever had one hunter stack. So here's a good chance for our heir to actually die in combat. So I said when that colony finished, that I would make another colony. Hmm. 
My suspicion is that this is a good colony. Because it'll give me access to no new provinces, but I want to seal up the entrance from Russia by sea. Because Russia, unfortunately, will have a coastal province. We should give them access to all these once they manage to core this place. Losing war score. I see. We'll be we'll be winning in war score after this battle. Yeah. And where do they think to retreat to? Jian is over here. I really don't know if, if following them on their retreat is wise. We only have two maneuver. Odds that I'll catch them seem low, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot. Now, where's Portugal in all this? Did they not get called in? Oh, I thought I called them in. Guess I didn't. <laughs> I've had this event before. It's what happens is that the the naval supplies are probably actually worth more than fur at this point. Here's a na naval supplies are worth 2.8 and fur is worth 2.7. So I'm gonna go ahead and make naval supplies there. All of the critters are dead in the forest, so you can choose to. Um, cut down the trees which they used to live in, or you can have them build farms. I, yeah. So this is kind of interesting. Most of the time I would say that the benign neglect is definitely the right way to go. But we are so radically ahead into trade power that I actually think the tax is probably the way to go here. I wonder, I never realized this, but the Philippines seems to be sending a trade thingy. Oh, to Panama. I was gonna say, if it was sending it to Mexico, I would divert it to Mexico and then from Mexico back over to Japan, but unfortunately there's no way to get Panama over to Japan. Panama will only really end up in Antwerp and Venice. What a shame. I have all this trade power and whatnot, but no way to get it back to Japan. Japan just really isn't that great of a trade node. The, the only ones that come into Japan is from Mexico. And the only ones that go in, I mean, is Cal, is Mexico. And the only one that goes into Mexico is California. So really you don't get a lot, especially with uh, Spain having taken the entirety of the California trade note. Rude. I was definitely planning on doing that and like, never. I was, I was probably never gonna do that. Good, I caught them. Now they're not routed, but they'll still take a loss, and this will count as a loss for the ticking war score thing. I don't expect to ever get positive, I mean I don't expect to ever get to 80% of combat 1, but I do kind of hope that maybe I will make it so that neither of us get the ticking. Where is he retreating to now? Over there? I don't really feel like following over there. Particularly because I seem to have left myself open here. I wonder if I can sue for a piece over here. I'm 
No such luck. They must have gotten pulled in with an alliance. Hmm. 27, 29. So I can get away. Can I get on the boat? 29, 29. What I'm gonna do instead... Oh, I have an idea. What if I, what if I landed here? What would this be? 20? So what we're going to do is land here, attach, and get out. That way we don't lose this troops. In fact, we're going to try to take out their fleet here. by sieging this province. Their fleet will have to come out, and then we'll kill them. I love this single Ming chasing off this 22 stack. I don't really know what calculation they're doing there for that. Okay. Now you'll see that I don't actually have to siege provinces. As long as I get war score from somewhere, I don't have to control the province in order to give give cores away. Here, I'll show you. It's still costing full it's still costing full diplomatic power. See I can return cores without actually um, controlling them. That's what I was showing. Probably means that sieging their capital is, is, is a priority. I'm going to go to their capital this way though, because it'll allow me to have vision of this spot. Which I want to have vision of because that's... Uh, there was a chance that if the enemy was there, they would be ambushing these guys, or trying to get to these guys. Controlling the capital is important because it's part of the calculation that they make. However, I can catch these troops. 13th for me and 15th for them, so that's better. That'll get me a quite a bit of war score with very little time taken. They're retreating to all the way over here, so that'll take them a while. <clears throat> well, these are all good choices. I'm gonna go with the stability. How much longer until I finally manage to annex those? Okay, so here I'm, I'm probably going to buy a diplomatic tech soon. So I'm going to go ahead and take uh, this, this decision. In fact, I think diplomatic tech could be super cheap right now. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and buy one before any of those wear off. Unfortunately, even though I have a bunch of galleys right now, you can't upgrade your boats like you can your troops. Not even paying or anything. So that should chase these ships out. It did. And now I should be able to beat them. And gain even more war score. 
from this combat. And ships! I should gain some ships. Yeah, see that got me... Um, one war score. But I got a ship. I don't know exactly. Looks like I got a... Uh, a galley. Or... Yeah, I don't know exactly what I got, but I should probably go heal now. Oh, that's right, they have some troops over in Japan. Well, it takes some really long time to siege. Money's starting to become more valuable, so I'm going to go ahead and go with that. Well, we have some... We have some troops over here being naughty, so... I guess that there were some troops here and Manchu is in a war with me because they're in a personal union with the Shun. Okay, well that's probably enough for this part. We do need to think about, as soon as we can, sending a diplomat to improve relations with um, Portugal, because we really don't want to lose them as an ally. They might be one of the reasons that... Yep, there's my timer. They might be one of the reasons that the European powers haven't been declaring on us, which is very nice. Well, until next time...